you suffer from Zoom fatigue or just staring at a computer screen all day kind of fatigue, like headache behind the eyes, this kind of deep throb, or maybe like red burning dry eyes. You can also get this sort of over, overall malaise kind of fatigue. It's not like I'm physically tired fatigue, but there's like this fatigue in the brain and you can get tension in the neck and the shoulders. All of these things happen when we're sitting in front of the computer for a lot of hours. And when we talk about Zoom fatigue, it's a real thing. So here are some tips to help you um, manage that so that you don't finish the day feeling so tired you just want to sit on the couch that at the end of the day you actually can feel refreshed and eyes are clear and head is clear. So the first thing is um, sitting up in your seat and having a proper setup so you don't actually have to lean forward into the computer. Sometimes I look at my colleagues and I'm like wow it looks like you're like going to jump into that screen there. This puts a lot of strain on the ocular nerve, which exists in the back, puts a lot of tension on the neck and decreases blood flow up to the brain. So if you have a stiff neck and stiff shoulders or upper back all the time, you wanna really have your setup so that you're not in the computer that you're sitting up from your spine. Secondly, you wanna blink regularly. When we stare at the screen for a long period of time, we actually stop blinking, which is a natural thing that we do to keep the moisture in the eyes. And that can prevent things like itchy eyes, red burning eyes, tired eyes, like, oh, kind of like you got to rub them kind of eyes. The third thing is you want to take some breaks and do what we call a sunning practice. So you would go outside, ideally there's not like a glass between you, if you have to do it through a window, then that would be the second option. But ideally you go into nature and, or just outside, and you look to the sun, you close your eyes, and you just breathe in and out and just feel the sun on your eyelids. And then picture the sun really penetrating what we call your pineal gland, which is where the production of melatonin takes place. So what's happening when you allow the sun to come in through your eyelids is that you're producing serotonin, which is your happy hormone, your feel good hormone. And serotonin supports the production of melatonin, which is what we need at night to help fall asleep. And that is produced in the pineal gland. So when we do this sunning practice, if you could do it at least once, ideally twice, if you're staring at the computer a lot that you want to be able to get out and take a couple of breaks, and just do it for one or two minutes, eyes closed, and just allow the sun to come in through the eyes and really picturing the warmth coming right in towards the third eye where the pineal gland is. And that will help with the production of the hormones um, and just help to keep the head clear. The third thing would be some breathing exercises. So there's one called pranayama breathing. And what it does is it integrates the left and right lobes of the brain and it helps you to activate the creative center of the brain as well. <clears throat> so you would take your right hand, close the left nostril, breathe in the right nostril for a count of four, close the right nostril, exhale through the left for a count of four, breathe in through the left, exhale through the right, and you would continue doing that for about 20 to 30 cycles, finishing exhaling on the right because that completes the balance of the two. And it just gets the whole, all the different lobes of the brain involved. And then that integration is really important. Thirdly, I would suggest a breathing technique called the breath of fire or what we call the skull shining breath. Now, what we're doing is we're contracting and mobilizing what we call our life force or prana or chi which lives down just below the belly button. And even though as we're doing this breath, we're contracting and focusing down in the lower abdomen, it's actually stimulating the brain and the creative centers of the brain. So it keeps everything alert and going. The focus is on the exhale. So what you wanna do through the nose is exhale. Kind of like you're blowing candles out your nose, although I wouldn't recommend it, but it's that kind of. And when you do that, you wanna contract your abdomen. On the inhale, allow the abdomen to relax and just allow the inhale to take care of itself. So it's abdomen relaxes, the inhale just happens. Abdomen relaxes, inhale just happens. 
And then the breathing would go like this, exhale, 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 exhale. And you're contracting, contracting, pulling your navel right back to your spine. So we're moving some of the, um, the, the life force, but also that place down in the lower belly is where unresolved emotions are kept. So sometimes we can get angry or frustrated, or we're just feeling, ah, you know, that you do this and it moves things in and through your body and out your body. So the breath would go like this. And every time you do that exhale, you're contracting, contracting, and just let the inhale take care of itself as the abdomen relaxes. Notice when I'm doing that, that nothing's happening up here. So one of the things that can happen when we're in the computer screen is that we shall, our breath becomes shallow and that puts us into our sympathetic response, which is our fight, flight, and freeze, which increases the stress in the body. So by really pumping the core and pumping the abdomen, it actually, and focusing on the exhale, it actually relaxes the nervous system. What happens after we've had a stressful situation? What do we do? <sighs> and that's what tells the nervous system, everything's safe, we're okay. So let's try that again. We go exhale, 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 contract, 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 on a count of three, two, one. Now, ideally, you do about 100 of those. So 100 breaths would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you find that hard at first, take breaks, but see if you can get up to 100. If you get dizzy when you do it, your body's just not used to having that much oxygenation. And so you'll build up to that in no time, as well as you're building your diaphragm and your core strength. So may as well get a core workout while you're sitting at the desk at work. Why not? So that... The final thing would be to do what we call a contralateral move where you're resetting the nervous system. I like to take my left leg back. So if you're sitting in a chair, just scoot over to the left and take your left leg back behind you. So your toes reaching back. You don't have to do this. You can sit with both feet planted in parallel, that's okay. But if you take your left leg back, you then take your left hand over to your right thigh, twist your torso and turn your chin over the left shoulder. Lift up through your spine, and as you breathe, think of breathing up and down your spine and do that twice. Notice I'm looking away from the computer. We want to look and see other things in the room and then come back to center. Then your option would be to take your right leg back, right hand over to the left thigh twist, turn your chin over your right shoulder. So you're looking around the room, lifting your spine, breathe up and down your spine. Add your blinks and then come back to center. So you don't have to do all of these things, but they're different things that you can do throughout the day to help your body reset itself so that you don't get that what we call Zoom or computer fatigue. I hope you found that helpful. If you have other things that you do, um, then it's definitely comment below. We would love to hear it. Um, I guess if I were to add one more thing, it would be obviously take breaks, step away from the computer, get outside in nature, spend some time in dirt, being around trees, touching trees, because of course the vibration of earth is going to ground you and the vibration of the computer is going to bring you up. So we want to come back down into our core and down into the earth. So there you go. I'll stop there. Um, have a great day and let me know how, how it goes for you.